Welcome to Åland, in the middle of the Scandinavian island region. And this is not just the one island, it's thousands of islands in the middle of the Baltic Sea. And there's about, was it, 6,700 islands and skerries around here, but I can't name all of them. The main island is separated from the coast of Sweden by 40 kilometers, that's about 25 miles open water to the west. In the East Åland's archipelago virtually merges into the Finnish archipelago, scattered like pearls in the sea. Actually, you can drive your bike all the way from Stockholm to Helsinki with some ferries in between. Today, we will enjoy both good scenery and great food. And we will combine the best of the Baltic Sea. First, I'm gonna prepare this amazing potato salad with white fish, and then we will grill some a rack of lamb with dill pesto and vegetable couscous. Åland has an interesting history. It was really important as a natural marine outpost in the middle of the Baltic Sea. For centuries, Åland was a part of the Kingdom of Sweden. But in 1809, Sweden lost the control of both Finland and Åland to Russia. So Åland became the western outpost of the Russian Empire. Next, I'm gonna meet the local fisherman. Hopefully he has something delicious for me. Yes, hopefully you have some good fish for me. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Prima Oran Sea. Oh, wow. Good, and they're big too. Yeah. Wonderful, four of them. Oh, oh yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. But now I'm gonna start cooking. My main ingredients are these white fish. Oh, they look so delicious. But first, summer potato salad. All these great ingredients, I just think that these combine each other so well. You know, we have these soft potatoes and smooth cauliflower and then the crunchy radishes and sugar snaps. But now we have to do a sauce. Here I have some country diesel mustard, and I will add about one teaspoon, a quite big one. Then I will have some yummy, yummy honey. It's actually local. It's really good. I could just eat it like this. But now we're just gonna add a half spoon. We don't want the potato salad to be too sweet. And then I will add some homemade mayonnaise. I don't want to put too much of it because I don't want that the sauce is too heavy. Finns and Scandinavians, we use a lot of sour cream. So I'm going to put this to lighten the sauce and get it more refreshing. And now I whisk all these ingredients together. Look, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? But now it needs some flavor, some chopped chives. So I'm going to add a big tablespoon. About half teaspoon of lemon. Okay, let's taste the sauce. Mm. We need some salt there, I think that's enough. And then a little bit black pepper. Actually, be quite generous with the black pepper. 
Hmm. It's lacking something, and I know the perfect solution. It needs this horseradish. There. Mm, perfect. So n now I will combine the vegetables and the sauce. I will actually use a spoon, it's uh, easier that way. And now I'm gonna toss it, the sauce and the vegetables together. So all these vegetables will, will be covered with amazing sauce. Look at this. Mmm, this is so yummy. Now it's ready. I will put it in the fridge for 15 minutes and during that time I'm gonna prepare my whitefish fillets. Here I have my beautiful whitefish fillets and this is actually really popular fish in Finland and it has an excellent flavor. First, let's season them a little bit with salt. And just a pinch of white pepper. Not too much because it has so nice flavor as, as it is. I don't want to overpower it. And now I will coat them. Close the egg. There. And then dip them here. And here in, in the other bowl I have breadcrumbs about half a cup. And next I will pan fry them with a lot of butter. Oh, I love that song. It's like a, it's like a song from the butter. It's, it's like singing. Amazing. And when it stops singing, then it's ready. Mmm, it smells so good. Let's see. Oh, it's perfect. It's just nice and golden brown. Now I'm ready to plate my dish. Lots of the potato salad. It looks fantastic. And then the final garnish. Salmon egg, eggfish roe. To give a nice color. Oh, beautiful. And just a little bit. Sprinkle of chives on the top. I will place the fish. Lovely and simple ingredients mixed with amazing sauce and fresh fish. Fantastic. The thousands of islands of Åland got their unique eternal form during the Ice Age about 10,000 years ago. The ice moved over the rocks creating beautiful images and different shapes and colors. What a view! These rocks are red granite, which is typical for Åland. It's used for paving the rows and that's why some of them have a reddish hue. around here have always been really hard to navigate around and because of that there's over 500 shipwrecks in the sea around Åland. This wreck is, uh, is from uh, 1933, 12th of December. That was the day she was sinking. It's an old sailing ship mm -hmm. and it uh, tells the story about Åland very much. Yeah. Because it's 70 meters long, it's just like Pommern. Wow. 
and That's one, amazing. it's one mass shelter. The wrecks are extremely well preserved because of the low salt and oxygen levels in the Baltic Sea. So it's no wonder people love to come here for diving. It was amazing! Oh, yay! The Russian Tsar Alexander I knew the importance of Åland. He began to establish the fortress known as Bumarsund. But the Bumarsund fortress was never completed. It was destroyed by the French and the British forces. And it was declared that Åland was to be a demilitarized zone. And so it has remained up until the present day. When the Russian Empire collapsed in 1917, Finland gained its independence. It was decided that Åland was to be part of Finland, but with its own political system, and they also have their own flag. Mariaham is on the main island, and it's actually Åland's only town. The founding of Mariaham gave the shipping industry in Åland a chance to really flourish. During the first half of the 20th century, the sailing fleet was actually the largest in the world. Oh, perfect. Hi, guys. Hello, Sarah. Yeah, how are Welcome. you? Thank you. How was the trip? It was good. Yeah. Yes. Nice. And this is uh, Mikael, by the way, Sarah. Hi. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, here we oh, have... wow. Yeah. It's melon uh, with wasabi, and then we have some deep fried uh, Norwegian lobster. Oh, it looks I help delicious. With that. Yeah. Oh, I want you to taste some. Job. I'm so hungry. <laughs> yes, that's great. So, what are you going to do here on Oland? I actually was diving. You no. dived? Yeah, I did. It was really scary, but exciting. And then I'm going to meet Judy and, you know, of course, make some delicious food. Yeah, of course you're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we all do that. Yes, yes, we yeah. do. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Many people here in Holland are really successful and creative craftsmen. Now I'm going to meet one of them. I need some new pottery, and I know just the right place to find some. Hi, Judy. Hi, Sara. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you too. So what are you making? I'm making these like squared off balls at the moment. Okay, and yeah. it's going to be like this? Yeah, something like that. Think, yeah. Where do you get your inspiration? Like Everybody asks that. I use an awful lot from what's growing in the garden. So, see, it's really incredible where it comes from. Just So, hey, them. do you have something <laughs> blue? Because I'm doing this yeah. table setting and I need something blue. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, you like it? Yes, I do a lot. Oh, thanks. Oh, this will work perfectly. And these too. Can okay. I buy this as well? Yeah, really. Oh, thank you. Great. Oh, now I'm so happy. Mm. But hey, don't forget the dinner party. It's six o'clock. I won't. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, good. <laughs> Can you help me with... Hand, yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, see I'll you see then. You. Bye. Bye. the medieval castle of Kastelholm. It's on the main island, and this castle dates back all the way to the 14th century, and it was used by the Swedish royal family as a hunting lodge. Quite nice lodging, I could say. The Swedish king, Erik XIV, was actually imprisoned here.
Now I'm gonna make a dinner fit for a king. It's going to be a grilled rack of lamb with dill pesto and vegetable couscous. First, let's start from the pesto. And pesto is actually one of the oldest oil sauces in the world. And it comes from Northern Italy. But today, I'm gonna put a finished pin on it. Instead using basil, I'm gonna use a flavorful dill. There. Then I have some chives, two big of cloves of garlic. Then I have some pine nuts, and they will give a really nice creamy texture to the sauce. So here I have a half a cup of them. There. Pesto without parmesan, it's nothing. So big chunk of parmesan there. I like to use a little bit lemon zest. So I would say one big teaspoon, that's enough. There. We put a little bit seasoning. I actually like to use a little bit sugar. It gives a nice contrast. So it's just a, just a little bit, just a pinch. And then a lot of salt. So the sauce will come alive. We need some olive oil and it's good that you have a good quality olive oil. I would say half a cup there. Let's taste some. Mm. Oh, so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. But actually, I'm gonna put this on the side for a second and I will prepare my lamb. Olan is really well known for their lamb because it's so delicious and tender. Now I'm gonna season them with quite a lot of salt. Let's put both sides there. And then I will drizzle it a little bit with oil because I'm gonna grill them so they don't stick on the grill. I can rub this on, on here. Now I'm gonna grill the lamb racks about 10 minutes for each side. And after that, I'm gonna put it on the side and let it rest about 10 minutes and then it's ready. Next, I'm gonna make an easy and delicious side dish from couscous. And I really like couscous because it's a so simple and easy to make. It actually comes from Northern Africa and Middle East, but today we're gonna make a Scandinavian version of it. In this saucepan, I have about one cup of chicken stock, so two and a half deciliters. And now I'm gonna add the same amount of couscous. So here, and just a little bit oil. Put it on the stove and let it rest for a while. Next, I'm gonna make an easy and delicious side dish from couscous. And first I need a clove of garlic, a big one. Ginger and garlic, that's a perfect match. So I'm gonna take some of the skin off and this will give a nice, nice kick to the sauce. There. And now a little bit lime zest. So one teaspoon as well. There. But now we need a little bit lime juice. So two limes, you have to use your muscles. And actually it's good when you have a cutting board so you just a little bit roll it so that juice will come easier. And then a little bit olive oil, a good drizzle. That's good. Now we'll mix all together. Then I have a little bit, I have chopped, chopped some mint, about half bunch. So let's add that over there to give a nice color and, and taste. It actually goes so well with the lamb. Now I will season a little bit with salt. And let's add just a pinch of sugar. This will make magics. Great. Let's taste it. It's really important that you always taste because that way you know that are the flavors okay. Mm, really, really good. Yummy, yummy. But now I'm gonna cut some vegetables to add to the marinade. Here I have some red cherry tomatoes. 
Look how cute they are. It's just adorable. Then I have some blanched baby carrots. So they will give a nice crunchiness and also a great flavor. And then I have some yellow cherry tomatoes. And I will add them as well to give a nice color. But I need some green. And I have some cucumber in here. And I will de-seed it with the spoon. Let's put that on the side. So these slices. And then just from here. There. It looks nice, doesn't it? Let's look. How is the couscous doing? Oh, it's perfect. I will add the couscous into the perfect marinade. So there. And now, look this magic, what will happen. All these colors and flavors will combine. Now it's ready. I'm just gonna go and get my lamb. Look at my beautiful lamb racks. Now we have to do the final touches. You remember this flavorful dill pesto? So now I'm gonna cover the racks over that. So spread it nicely. Let's put quite a lot. I like it and it, it gives an amazing color as well. There. And now I'm gonna cut it into chops. And there. Now I'm ready to plate my dish. There, and let's put the colorful couscous with the green and the yellow and the orange. Doesn't it look nice? And now my beautiful lamb chops over there. The final garnish, I have these edible flowers. You know, aren't they nice and blue? There, and now it's done. My guests are waiting up at the old farm. When I invite my friends over, it's really important that I have a beautiful table setting. And for me, food and decoration goes hand in hand. And today, I wanted to have two main colors. So this blue to reflects the Oland Sea, and the white reflects the clouds above me. And then I wanted to mix it with, you know, different patterns to make it hip and cool, a little bit for today. I hope my guests will like it. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, what a nice table. Oh, thank you. Very, very nice. Well, I'm starving. Oh, please sit down and enjoy. You. Are you hungry yes. at all? Thank you. 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 Thank you.